I guess the first thing to ask is, what are dragonflies anyway? And when I talk about dragonflies, I'm including damselflies, and I'll, I'll explain uh, the similarities and differences in a minute. But dragonflies are generally large insects. They're not all really big, but most of them are. Um, they're very visually oriented because they're aerial predators. They fly around as adults and catch other insects in the air. And here's one perched, and you can see the large head looking at it from the side, and the huge eye. The two eyes take up almost all the head of a dragonfly. They're called compound eyes because they're made up of thousands and thousands of tiny individual eyes. That eye that you see there has about 30,000 little lenses in it compared to your one big lens in each eye. And it forms a picture in the dragonfly's brain sort of like what you see on a computer or on a TV screen. Thousands and thousands of tiny little colored dots formed by the light coming in from each, each of these little lenses. So they have very good vision and they need that in order to find a little mosquito flying in the sky that they want to chase and catch and eat. And when they do chase their prey, they catch them in their legs. You see the spines on the legs? They have six legs like other insects, but they're all spiny and they fly up and they grab the insect right out of the air and bring it up to their mouth and chew on it with their jaws that work sideways like many other insects. The, the jaws don't work up and down like ours do. They work sideways like grasshoppers or beetle jaws. And unlike a lot of other insects, dragonflies don't spend a lot of time sort of smelling or tasting the chemicals in the air. You can see their antennae, their little feelers, are just tiny little things here compared to some dragonflies really are eye-oriented insects. And they have a very large thorax, this middle part of the body, with big muscles in it that work the wings. The four uh, big, clear, net-veined wings that propel them through the air. Here's a dragonfly eating a smaller dragonfly. They'll eat anything they can catch, uh, usually as long as it's flying. They'll eat, most of them eat smaller insects than, than dragonflies, but some do eat dragonflies. So they're very beneficial in the scheme of things. They help control the millions and millions of other insects that are uh, flying around us every day. And you can see 